Hi everyone, my name is Zimri Mayfield with ZimriMayfield.com. It just makes sense. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to low poly the Pope. So first what we need is a picture of Mr. Pope Francis. So I'm gonna go Pope Francis, search. Now what kind of image does matter? We're looking for an image that's kind of iconic, but I've already found one earlier. So I downloaded that and I'll show you what that is right here. So this is the image I found of him. He's looking very popely, you might say. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using Flash. Now I know Flash is a program for making animations. However, if you don't want to spend 10 hours trying to low poly in Photoshop or Illustrator, Flash is the way to go. It allows you to speed up the low polying process exponentially. It's incredible. So once you have Flash open and I'm working in CS6, you're going to want to go File, New, go ahead hit those settings and Control minus to zoom out, press File, Import, Import to Stage, and we're going to find our picture that I've named P. Francis. Here we are. And it's a bit of a small picture, so just click on it, press Q, and you'll get all these squares that allow us to adjust the size and we're gonna bring them up okay cool now what we need is we need the picture to be on one layer and then all of our low poly lines to be on the next so we're gonna name this layer Popey and then we're gonna make a new layer on top of that and we're gonna call it polygon polygons cooler okay so now what we can do is we can work on the polygon layer and not mess with the Popey layer all right, and a lot of times you want to make the background color a different, something bright. Like, so this white square right now, we, we should make it something bright so later we can see what we've filled in and what we haven't. You'll see it later. Now, in Flash, we're going to be working with the Line tool. Press N to bring up the Line tool. The Line tool in Flash is somewhat similar to the Pen tool in Illustrator but you don't have handles. It's a lot better because you can see exactly where your line will be the entire time and then after you've made the line you press V and you can move it anywhere you want. It's just quicker in my opinion but Illustrator is great too. So that's what we'll be using to create the polygon lines. Now click back on to our top polygon layer, get your lines ready and now we're just gonna be making triangles triangles around his face okay sometimes you'll want to make squares depending on what your project is but with faces I just go triangles every time the size of your triangles depends on what kind of detail you want in your low poly drawing in the end depends what kind of look you're going for what I'm doing here is I'm going for very low poly, so these triangles are huge. I'm going to make smaller triangles around the eyes, as you'll see in a minute. But for big areas like the forehead or his big white cap here, I'll just be doing um, bigger triangles. Now we're going to come in here and make smaller triangles around the eyes. If you make big triangles around the eyes, it'll either look like he has no eyes because you filled in the color of the skin around it, or it'll look like he has huge eyes because you colored in this huge triangle the size, the color of his eyes. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, now I'll go in for the nose. Let's just click and drag. Click, drag to the next one, click, drag to the next one, click, drag to the next one, like that and half when you get a square kind of make that ear shape good and we're just gonna keep going at it all right cool so we got his whole face I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fill in the color now flash makes this process very efficient all you have to do is press I to get the eyedropper tool click and then it automatically converts to the bucket tool all you have to do click again and you filled in that triangle with the color that was there. So we're going to go ahead and control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out. So 
Press I, get the eyedropper tool. Click, turns into a bucket. Press, click, press. I, click, click. I, click, click. I, click, click. I, click. It's that easy. It's incredible. Okay, so I don't know if I've done his whole hat, so I'm going to blink that away, and I can see that triangle hasn't been done. So I'm going to go back and hit up that triangle, and now I've done basically his whole hat. Now I'm going to go into the hair here. So if you want to see how everything's progressing, you're going to want to double-click on one of the lines, and that will select all the lines, right? Double-click. And now we can press Delete, and they're all gone. And we'll hide this. And let's change our stage to light gray so we can see how it's coming. Okay, cool. It's looking good so far. Now just Control Z till everything comes back. Click away to deselect. Control plus to zoom in again. And we're back at it with our eyedropper. Turns into our bucket. And we're just clicking around. Okay, let's go ahead and delete all these lines. Make our background white. And kill the image. And we're missing that over there, but you can see how it's going to turn out. Because again, we very low polyed his face because it's a picture of his whole body. And when you see the whole body, you'll know, oh wow, yeah, that's the Pope. If it was just his face right now, you'd think, hey, that's a taxi driver. I've gone ahead and outlined his whole body and I've filled in most of it, but there's still some left. And if I click away the picture, hide it, I can see that I've got those left. So, control plus, zoom in, I, get that color, changes to a K, which is the bucket, and now let's see if we've got anything left, that one right there. Are we good to go now? Cool, looks good. Now let's see how it, how it turned out. So to change the background, press V, and Click away, good, and our stage appears. So I'm going to make it kind of a dark gray so we'll be able to see. Double click anywhere of the lines. So if I click there, it's cool. Delete, and that's how it looks. We can see his cool cape. The Pope looking super fresh and dope. And press V, select it all, move it down to the bottom, and you can see it's not really straight. So all we have to do is control plus, zoom in. Leave it on V, and you can V, come over any of these intersections and just pull it down. It's so simple, right? Awesome. Now, for our final step, well, first, let's make him a little bigger. Okay, for our final step, we are going to export him as a PNG because we don't want the background, and I've called it low poly pope PNG save i have it as 200 p dpi which is quite high eh, kinda and i'm gonna open up photoshop more commonly known as photoshop file open look for our low poly pope png uh here we are oh, and open it cool look at that now what we need to do is add a background so go ahead and press this new layer and we are going to grab the square. Right now it's on rounded. And just bring in that background. And it, obviously it covered up our Pope. So we just need to move that layer to the bottom. And there he is. Um, let's make it... Actually, that's a good color. Let's just add a gradient here. So we'll go gradient overlay. And turn down the opacity. And I really love radial. So my main goal here is to make a difference between his cape and the background. So I'm going to move the gradient over over there, right? So now you can kind of see better the difference between there and there. And I'm going to make it bigger, actually, too. And bring him down. OK, I'm happy with that. So press OK. Now what we want to do is create a new layer and press Shift Backspace. What we're doing now is we're going to add the noise to it that I was talking about before that I believe just really brings it out. So go with use 50% gray and hit OK. Now it covered everything up with gray. All we have to do is go to our blending options here and go overlay. 
boom now you can't see anything right but what we will do here in a second is we'll go to filter noise add noise oh you can see we we made him crazy now this just comes down to what you want okay we could make him really noisy crazy like that and that's a really cool image in itself um, sometimes if you want text next to it you'd want it to be quite noisy to draw more attention to the text but seeing as it's just the Pope I'm gonna turn it down quite a bit so and um, Photoshop is also control plus to zoom in I'm gonna go like five and see how that looks now zoom out to where normal people would be looking at it you can see it just gave it that slight texturization I like it okay so press OK and now we'll go file and save as and I'm gonna save it as a JPG low poly Pope JPG saved my desktop I usually only go like medium <laughs> I don't want huge files. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.